Okay, well, I'm glad you two are happy. At least I'm happy on the outside as we're going to get to cast this bang at game. G2 versus Fnatic is always bound to be a show. The addition of Crown Shot has been of benefit to Vitality so far. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I like this, Mickey! Oh, that's really well done for Mickey. Comes Game round, over. hooks into the knockup. Down on the Nilly, and I think if anything lands on Yanko, that's a kill. Don't fucking run away from me! No! Melissa put himself up on a silver platter oh, in the control Mickey. ward from Mickey! All right, that's the outplay. Yeah, Give it to him. Styling. Give it to him. He's styling so far this game. He's looking to try and catch our crown shot. Remember, there's no flash on the AD carry. The bomb's going to have to flash away. Showstopper used only onto Skeens. The play away as well as the bomb keeps his AD carry <laughs> safe. Oh, that's onto Reckless. Killer Instinct, not enough, and he will go to sleep. Crown shot kills his enemy man, and now Vitality are on the front foot in the bottom lane. Can look for him. Unstoppable Onslaught's going to come out. Caps has worked his way around the corner. Wonder chased off to the side as well. There's the color. The buff down to half HP, showstopper as they try and dive in. Crownshot tried to survive on the back line. You have to watch him, but the rest of his team is gone. Crownshot may have lived, but at what cost? Reckless doesn't have the killer instinct, but hits the void seeker. Oh, Reckless has a to flash, to Melitza, And Ooh. Reckless takes him out. 32 minutes in, G2 will claim their 10th win of spring. Whippo still has a flash to try and get away from this one. Yankos looking for the undertow, lands the first one, and now with a bank of his own, his Fnatic are going for the TP. Now the TP is in from G2, and Niski nowhere to go as first blood on Whippo for yeah. G2. The only real risk they have to worry about, notice that Niski is starting to roam down, they're looking for the dive. Hillisang already underneath the tower, upset trying to do the damage that he can, explosive cast from Wonder. Hillisang tanking this up, he's sacrificing himself for this play, but the face call will get him out just in time. TP's oh! now from G2. Upset, takes now two tower shots, up. and immediately is killed. Wonder takes another as Hillisang dives into his demise. 21 minutes for the soul. It's a very quick Infernal Soul possibility for G2. Flash in from Hillisang, he gets a double knockup. TP behind from Wonder though. Immediately G2 going for the TP, the Magnus Storm coming out as well, and here comes Wonder. Agus is angry as Upset flashes away, but the explosive cast locks him against the wall. The Blast Cone is there for Upset to try and get away. Selfmade coming down for the fray as well. Hitasang looking for the stun here onto Mickey. Upset just about dodging away with the cleanse is able to survive. Shuffled back. Wonder goes into the back line. He's put asleep. Hitasang knocks him up. Reckless comes in with a fourth shot to get one kill. It's a two for one in the bottom lane as Jankos now joins the fight himself, but instead will just force Fnatic to back away. Oh, Fnatic no, finally found a skirmish. Stride Breaker! Sink the axes in the back of the ox! And it's another kill over to Yankos. TP behind by Caps here. Selfmade stepping forward, looking for the looting lullaby. Looking for that Love that. Mickey oh. dives in! A four-man Magnus Storm! And immediately Fnatic's hopes may be dashed against the rocks. Bripper going in, trying to get kills for himself. It's a two-for-one in favor of G2. In the bush, Fnatic stepping forward. Wonder oh. going in, he lands the flash cast combo! And Niski hasn't got a hope in hell of surviving. Selfmade next on the menu. And you can see Hillisang really can't do too much about this Pripo diving in. Gets caps, that's one. Upset able to get away up towards the back line, and Yanko's been chucked down as well. Upset dodging around as much as he can. Pripo will be the next to fall though. And G2 to sweep up in the mid lane. Double TP. Niski and Pripo trying to get at least one kill here because they know if at least they can kill Yankos, they can stop that Baron from going down. But Look at the damage from just a single undertow. No tower stands here. Quipper going in. Spirit Cleave coming out. There's the Ragnarok. Niski shuffles forward. And the trade comes oh, in. Oh, Yankos! 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 That is disgusting! disgusting! That is not allowed! That Yone, he's called the Unforgotten, but I'm pretty sure this performance will be forgotten very soon. Two and five is a Whippo on the Yone. Hitasang looking for a fight here as they go up in the top lane, but there's the Unleashed Power on Selvman. He's immediately forced away. Mickey with a double stun. The Attract Repel doing exactly what it says Niski. on the tin. Niski tries to jump all in, but immediately he is scattered as one of the weak Niski falls, and now Hitasang is next on the menu. Upset, the last man standing, and there is nowhere for him to go. He's caught between a wall and the Yankos, and Yankos wins out. What a performance from G2, silencing the doubters with a dominant victory here over Fnatic, and they want one more. They want to add another D to the column for Bwipo. Okay, wait, let's see, can we get this? Can we get this working? Yes, there we go. Okay. Oh man, suck the belly in. Wait, oh, wait I have to avoid, yes, there we, we go. have to get real reckless Okay, too. three, two, one, there we go, there we go. <laughs> How did you feel when you played Blitzcrank yesterday, where you're like, very excited that the game went so well for you and uh, do you wish to ever play Blitzcrank again or is it kind of on the, the cooler for right now until playoffs? 
Um, it definitely went really well, so I'm hyped to pick it again if enemy teams leave it open, of course. If it's a good situation, I would obviously pick it, uh, not because we played Vitality. And uh, it was mostly because I was um, really smashing Rasmus in the fighting games, and um, I play <laughs> and I was playing a Scorpion a lot, and he also kind of has a hook. So, you know, I kind of picked up all the strategies from there. And uh, me and Rasmus worked really well together yesterday in the mid uh, support department because we played a lot of fighting games like 1v1s and he got absolutely demolished. So then he kind of knew how to demolish the enemy mid laner and we kind of read all of his moves and punished him for it because this guy could know how to block or dodge or anything.